pulling out onto beautiful Lake Norman. Hey YouTube, how's everybody doing? Got a follow-up video here today um, on the 2023 GMC Canyon Denali. Uh, this is the video of uh, storage and organization. Talk a little bit about the swing out cases that I did uh, talk about in my earlier videos. A little more of an in-depth video and I'm gonna show you guys how you uh, can organize the back end of your uh, Denali, um, your Canyon. So uh, stay tuned. We're gonna talk about uh, what I did and how I did it. And then I'm gonna show you a little bit about how I use Kaizen foam to accomplish this. All right, YouTube, we're going to get started here. We're going to look at the back end of uh, my Canyon GMC here. And I'll start by saying uh, you can see the uh, flip up, the back flip tonneau cover. And that was kind of one of the first modifications I made. I talked about that in my earlier videos. But let's, uh, let's open the rear tailgate here, get a look inside. And nice clean. You can see the two swing out cases in there. And... We're going to pull this here, we're going to pull that up, put that one, one notch on the back flip so we can get a better look at the, uh, the cases here. There's one on the right and one on the left. Uh, we've talked about uh, how easy these are to use in some of my past videos. Simply pull the yellow latch here and that releases your swing out case. And then it's just simply these lock here and it has a lock on top. And these open and you can see the inside. So you can see the case here. A lot of people uh, have asked what I did with the jack and the tools from the underneath the rear seat when I installed the kicker sub amp combo. And what I did is I used the swing out case to hold basically all those tools and get a better look. I'll turn the light on here so you guys can get a better look inside the case. And you can see down in there, that's where I put my jack. And I still have plenty of room in this case. And we're going to talk a little bit about these here, and I'm going to show you what I did with these. But this is just a uh, the insert. You can see there's more room underneath, but the insert that comes in the swing out case. And again, these latch, and these basically just fit back up in there, and they lock in place. Same with the right one here. And let's go over that one more time. And you'll see I've already kind of removed, I don't have anything in this case, but you can see how much storage there is in there. And again, I've already removed the, uh, the little top here, and I'm going to show you what I did with the Kaizen foam with the top. But I, I like the way these fit. I don't use my bed a lot to carry a lot of stuff, so I like the organization. I think it works well for my truck and what I use it for. Now let's talk a little bit more about storage here. Yeah. And we showed you this in one of my earlier videos too. This is the... Okay, so when we open the tailgate, we look at the storage we have in here. And what I did is I just took a piece of Kaizen foam. And again, we're going to talk more about the Kaizen foam uh, as we go through this video. But it's pretty simple. You just cut out a, a marking and you cut out your hitch. And I'm going to show you guys how easy this pulls out. And there you have it. And you can put it back in. And the nice thing about it when it's in there it's not going to move around and so when I need my trailer hitch it's there and that just keeps it from bouncing around or moving around I have all this extra space here I could do something else for storage I could use the foam I left it open for now um, but I'm probably going to address it here and uh, I may leave it open um, and we'll see probably put some tie downs ratchets and stuff like that in there but anyway that's just another uh, example from one of my past videos of a modification I did that's very simple uh, it's economical, it doesn't cost a whole lot, but it works really great for your trailer hitch. And you guys have seen me talk about these before. And that's it. All right. My storage solution for the 2023 GMC Canyon Denali. Um, I'll button it all up, and then we'll take a little closer look at uh, some of the... Uh, uses of Kaizen foam and there's quite a bit and one other thing I did another modification of the truck I did if you take out these cases and again you look kind of underneath there you'll be able to see the uh, lights I installed and they're kind of nice so you know you take your hand
and you can turn those on. And they add a little bit of light back here, but kind of just kind of a cool option. And they're like sensitive to touch. And by the way, that the plug, these swing out cases, you still have access to the plug. And there's actually a lot of room. There's a big gap behind if you still wanted to plug in something behind these case and close the case. Some of you might ask about that. Okay, we're uh, in my garage now. We're gonna talk about Kaizen foam and we're gonna talk about these little trays that came in the swing out cases. Uh, these just simply fit inside the swing out case and I'm gonna show you another nice little trick you can do with the Kaizen foam. Um, here's the stuff that I wanna store in these little uh, trays uh, and I want it to be kinda neat. I don't want it to rattle around, kinda like what we did um, with my hitch and the tailgate with the Kaizen foam. This is the stuff that I'm going to put in there. You can see I have some Allen wrenches. I have a little bike tool, a flashlight, just your standard screwdriver, some um, DeWalt uh, assortment of uh, tips uh, for my DeWalt uh, impact drill there. And uh, these are the kind of things I'm going to put in there. And I'm going to show you how to do that, how you can do it nice and neat, and how easy it is. This is Kaizen foam. This is kind of how it comes. Um, when you order it, it comes in this large box. That's a uh, basically a huge piece of Kaizen foam in the cardboard and you can buy it like this. I choose to buy it this way. It's a lot more economical. You can get it in 20 millimeter, 30 millimeter, 57 millimeter thicknesses. Uh, the one you see here is 57 millimeters and I use Kaizen foam in a lot of different projects and I also use it in some of my custom uh, wood boxes that, uh, that I make for handguns and pistol cases and I'm sure you saw some of those videos. Uh, you look up woodpatriotic.com if you haven't. Um, again, I use the Kaizen foam. I use it for a lot of different uses, but this is how it comes. All right, so you see the tray here, and what I did is I took basically a Kaizen piece of foam. Um, I laid the template, which was the case, on top of the foam. And what you'll do is, we'll talk about how you accomplish that. But what you do is you take a tracing, and with Kaizen foam, I'll tell you, that this is going to be one of your best friends. Um, this is a special pen, as you can tell, it has a long tip on it. Well, that tip's going to help you trace anything that you want to. So, again, this is a crucial tool when using Kaizen foam. You can get them on Amazon. They're just a couple of bucks. Look up a long tip marker or slim tip marker. You'll be able to find these on Amazon, and they're just a few dollars. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do um, when you're working on this is you're going to want to decide how you want to lay out your, your tools or whatever you're going to install in here. So simply just put, uh, put your tools where you want them. I think I'm going to put that there. My flashlight will be here. Uh, maybe a little over there. And my bike tool here. And again, the reason I have these Allen wrenches in this bike tool is I go mountain biking a lot. So this will kind of be my mountain biking tray. These are just some kind of uh, standard tools that I use when I'm mountain biking, but this looks good to me. And here's the funny thing is, I have another one of these cutouts here, you can see it. It's the same as this one. You, these are very light, you can store them easily. You can make these to fit whatever tools you want. So if you're going mountain biking one day, you can use this cutout, or if you're going on a long road trip and you want to put some different kind of tools uh, in here, you can have different cutouts uh, for different uh, missions per se, or ever, however you want to use them. Once you have these positioned on the foam, Kaizen foam is pretty easy to work with. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna make a tracing of these things. So basically you're gonna take your long tip pen, and again, it's easier to use these pens, because you'll see I can drag it along, drag it along the edge of the tool that I wanna make the design for. And then I just keep coming around, coming around. I'm gonna come straight down there, come around this, come around that. Come all the way down, I'll kind of cross over there, and then back up to where I started. It's as simple as that, that's the first tracing. All right, my little pocket uh, mountain bike tool here. And again, I don't carry a lot of tools uh, like most mountain bikers um, on the trail. Most of the stuff I use is at the trail head. That's the reason I carry it in my truck. So anyway, uh, I've gone over this a couple times now made a cutout for it, and then the flashlight. Everybody needs a flashlight. I do do some night rides, so I like having a flashlight available. This is a surefire flashlight. 
I've always been happy with that brand. But again, all I'm doing is tracing an outline of whatever tool, this just happens to be a flashlight, whatever tool I wanna use. Okay, and then finally, everybody likes a screwdriver. I use them for a whole various different, a lot of reasons to have a flathead screwdriver available, mostly biking for me. And again, I'm just making a simple tracing of the tool. And again, this could be any tool. Okay, so you can kind of see how that turned out. And just remove it. And there it is. So you basically have uh, what you need to start cutting. And we'll talk about the cut process next. Okay, we're well, right back at it. Um, we've got an X-Acto knife here. It's just your standard X-Acto knife. And you see the depth of the blade. That's the depth I want to use. And if you look at this, so my depth is going to be right about there. It won't go all the way to the bottom, but that's the depth I want to use for these cutouts because I do want the tools to stick a little bit above the top so that they're easily to pull they're easy to pull out from the foam. So again, that's the depth I'm using. You can buy an X-Acto knife and obviously you can get all kinds of different depths uh, with whatever knife you choose to use. But this is the depth I'm using for this this particular job. So we'll start with this screwdriver down here that we cut out and all I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna take the depth of that and I'm gonna just cut and follow my outline. Pretty simple stuff here. I mean, if you're a kid and you can color with a crayon, you can do this. So we're gonna just cut this out, follow that cutting outline that you made. And you can take your time. I mean, these are holding tools, so I'm just kind of being a little more haphazard. If I was working on my, one of my custom gun cases, I'd be a little, a little more concerned with um, being right spot on. But once you get this done, make sure that it's all nice and cut out to the depth you wanted there. And I think mine's pretty good. You take your finger, I'm gonna turn this a little bit, and I usually use the one finger rule. I scoop in there and you'll have the depth already in there. And what you do is this foam is layered. So you get in there and that's about how thick that foam is. And then it's a matter of taking your finger and scooping that foam out. And it'll stay in that same level because the foam has layers in it. That's the way the foam is made. And I'll show you that. You can see these layers. So when you take your finger and you scoop it out, whatever layer you kind of catch is the, how thick that cutout's gonna be with your finger. Just take that finger and follow it along, follow it along, and there it is, done. So as you can see, that was my screwdriver and my tracing. Pretty simple stuff, guys. And there's my first tool, okay? That's not going anywhere, it's gonna stay in the case. Um, you know, so we'll move on to that second one here, and that was my little my little spin doctor tool for biking. And again, this is going to kind of be my mountain biking uh, mountain biking uh, case. And again, you can make all of these ahead of time for different tools, different assignments that you have. And then when you go on a trip or something, and you want to put that one in, you can, and you'll have those tools readily accessible to you. But again, I'm almost done with this one already. I cut to the depth of the blade. We're good to go. I'm gonna take my finger again. I'm gonna reach down in there. I'm gonna start my scoop process. Here we go. Here we go. Scoop it out. And there we are. Place that in there. Getting there. All right. Let's go ahead with my uh, my bigger multi tool we had here. And I'll start cutting this out. Again, you're just following the tracing that you made. This is it's not rocket science. Anybody can do this. I 
And again, this is for my Allen wrenches. But anybody who was scared of uh, the foam, this stuff is super easy to work with. That's why I love it. Um, I will say it's not like really cheap, but you guys saw that large box I had. That kind of, that kind that will last you forever. And you're talking about $40 here. You can use it to do tool organization. I'm sure you've seen that in, uh, in shops. You can use it for a multitude of projects, but I always keep some on hand because I use it all the time for a lot of various different reasons. Okay, so I'm getting done with this here. Got my cuts made more for the most part. I'm gonna just make sure they're all good. Going over it one more time. All right, so the cut was made again. We turn the box again and we start that scoop out procedure. I'm gonna start at the top here, okay? And again, I got two fingers in here now, but here I go. And there's not a lot of magic to this. I'm just, I'm just scooping. And I'll just meet it in the middle here and start on this side too. Okay, so there you go again. Got that all scooped out. And we'll put our tool in. Okay, so there you go. We got uh, three tools in. We got one left to go, and this was the flashlight. All right, so again, I'm gonna show you one more time. I'm gonna do this really quick to show you how fast this can be accomplished. Just follow your tracing. And again, I'm, I'm going really fast here because it's just not that big a deal uh, when you're putting tools in here. It doesn't have to be completely precise, but you can always take your time and do whatever type of job you want on this. But again, I'm, I'm sort of in a hurry because we're doing it on film, but you can do whatever you want and you can use whatever tools you want and you make as many of these inserts as you want because the inserts come out. So my flashlight's done. We're gonna go back to that finger rule we talked about. We're gonna catch that layer of Kaizen foam and then just bam, bam, bam. This one didn't come out quite as nice. So if it doesn't, just go back in the other side and you can clean it up. And there we go. There's our flashlight. Nice organized tray. We're gonna go over and put this in the truck. I'll show you what it looks like installed. But there you go. It's that simple, guys. And on this one over here, I've got another blank. And I was gonna do the Milwaukee drill, but just to show you what that's gonna look like. And these tools here, this is another tool that I use all the time and I'd like to keep it in my truck and keep it handy. But uh, I'm gonna put this Milwaukee tool in here with the little tr chuck there and the tips. So um, that's how this one's gonna look. But you guys get the clue with the other uh, video, what I just did and what I showed you and my process. And we'll walk over to the truck and we'll put it in. That simple. Okay guys, we're back at the truck. And before I open up the tailgate, I put this tray back in here with our newly organized uh, organizer for the swing out case. Remember, subscribe, please. I've been making these videos now. I've got a great uh, start. Uh, we just hit 120 followers. I'm heading towards 500. So quick, let, quickly hit that subscribe button so I can keep making these videos, okay? Uh, we're back at the swing out case and we're gonna open up our uh, backflip again. And pull this out, open it up. And then uh, we're gonna put this, this organized case that we just made back in the truck. There it is guys. So again, there's that case. We just put that in there. There's that organization I talked about. I'm kind of one of, uh, one of those people that I'm kind of an organized freak. So I like things nice and tidy, but there it is. It's not going anywhere. It's not gonna roll around. It's not gonna make any noise. Lock up your case. Bam. Kaizen foam, guys. Again, we talked about the foam we used in here with the trailer hitch. Uh, same philosophy of tracing and cutting it out. 
But again, there it is. The swing out case, storage, uh, modification for your 2023 GMC Denali.